Hello, hello. God bless, God bless. My name is Joani. I'm a prophet of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome. All right. So since apparently I've been kicked off of TikTok again, here I am to deliver the word on Instagram. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you for being here. All right. So this one is called Prophetic Warning. Um, I literally just stopped everything I was doing. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, I just stopped everything I was doing just to give this. Why? 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 Because the Lord said to me, to me, all right, I have consequences if I don't give the word. And at the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Right? I can see. I can hear. I'm looking out for your behalf. Through the Holy Spirit, amen, to give you prophetic messages, warning, and insight as a mouthpiece for the Lord, amen. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. And you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way in order to save his life. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked and he does not turn away, if he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you will have saved your life. Again, if a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because you have not warned him. He shall die for his sin and his righteous deeds, which he shall, which he has done, shall not be remembered, but his blood I will require at your hand. Thanks, Lord. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man not to sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he took warning, and you will have saved your life. <sighs> so here I am to deliver to you the warning, all right? Whether you're righteous or you're wicked, Holy Spirit, lead the way. Oh, Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. <sighs> Holy Spirit, what do you need me to stand out? Like, what, what do you need me to stay? What, what do you need me to say? Um, forgive me. I was not prepared to give a word. I'm just here at the obedience. The so Holy Spirit will make it stand out. Okay. Israel are doing in the dark every man in his room of pictures. For they say the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. He, he said also to me, you will, still, you will see still greater ambitions which they commit. <sighs> Is this like an abomination? Someone's doing like altar. Okay, I knew it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. Someone's committing some kind of demonic ritualistic obsession and i rebuke it in the name of jesus father god send the holy spirit to break any chain to break any demonic altar lord cast down fire from heaven ignite it lord cast it down to the pits of hell protect your people in your holy and mighty name anything that is anyone who is a child of god anyone who is seeking repentance in your holy and mighty name lord i decree and declare today that you send the holy spirit to rain magna, to rain fire, to bring lava, to obliterate anything that is a demonic altar of the children of God doing your will and purpose on earth. In Jesus' name, I pray and I proclaim. Amen. <sighs> okay. 
So that was definitely one of them. Is there anything else? This might be someone. Hold on. Behold the day. Behold it comes. Your doom has come. Injustice has. I'm sorry. Hold on. Injustice has blossomed. Pride has budded. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain. Nor their abundance. Nor their wealth. Neither shall there be preeminence among them. The time has come. The day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for the wrath is upon all their multitude. For the seller shall not return to what he has sold while they live, for wrath is upon their multitude. It is not, it shall not turn back, and because of his iniquity, none can maintain his life. They have blown the trumpet and made made all ready, but none goes to battle, for my wrath is upon all their multi multitude. The sword is without, pestilence and famine are within. He that is in the field dies by the sword, and him that is in the city, famine and pestilence devour. And if any survivor escape, there will be on the mountains, like doves of valleys, all of them moaning, every one of his iniquity, all hands are feeble, and all knees weak as water. They gird themselves with sackcloth and horror covers, shame is upon all faces, and baldness on their heads. They cast their silver into the streets, and their gold is like an unclean thing. Their silver and gold are not able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They cannot satisfy their hunger or fill their stomachs with it, for it was the stumbling block of their iniquity. Their beautiful ornament they used for a vain glory. They made their abominable images, their detestable things of it, Therefore, I will make it an unclean thing to them. I will give it to the hands of the foreigners for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. They shall profane it. I will turn my face from them, and they, that they may profane my precious place. Robbers shall enter and profane it and make desolation. <sighs> God's very angry. Clap your hands and stamp your foot and say, Alas, okay, Alas, because of all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. He that is far off shall die of pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword. He that is left is preserved shall die of famine. Thus I will spend my fury upon them, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Ooh. Oh my God, I remember this one. Okay, I remember. I I I will teach them that I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I am God. I am the Lord. I am that I am. I am. Oh, judgments. I am. This is someone who's about to know God, because someone's someone's doing something evil. Jealousy. Hold on. I, the Lord, have spoken my jealousy when I spend my fury upon them. Okay, remember that God is a jealous God over you. Remember that when people speak your name, they're invoking the name of God because they're like, God's like, who are you talking about? You're not talking about my Juani. You're not talking about my chosen one. <sighs> someone, someone here, I swear, prophesy, prophesy against them and say, You mountains of Israel, this, I swear, it's like, it feels like it's supposed to be Israel, like a holy town, and they're not holy. They're just doing some abominable stuff. Prophesy against them and say, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus say the Lord God to the mountains and the hills and to the ravines and the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you. And I will destroy your high places. Your altars shall become desolate. Your incense altars shall be broken. And I will cast down your slain before your idols. I will lay the dead bodies of the people of Israel before their idols. And I will scatter your bones round about your altars. I'm telling you, someone did something demonic. Someone made an altar. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, 
and this is this is gonna backfire something that someone was wishing upon the chosen children is god god's not having it i am a jealous god god is not having it you know i don't like giving messages like this now go in and see the vile abominations that they are committing here Someone, someone took a picture and they made a demonic altar. And they made some kind of ritual. And the Lord is so mad. The Lord says, I see you. The Lord says, how could you? The Lord says, this is, this is an abomination. This is, you know, what, what the worst thing is, is like, I need to say this. I don't know. I do know. I just don't want to see. And it's specifically, um, there's a, a a group of, I want to say African American descent people, and they claim they're Christians. They have a a church that is a, a very wealthy church, but these people attack my accounts. They stalk me. I really feel like God is saying it's them. I know I've been I've been told time I have so many enemies. I've been told time and time again about it. And you have to understand that I want to say like where where does voodoo come from? I know where it comes from because my mo my mother was a witch, and it comes from African American descent. Where they have their drums and their ritualistic, oh, I don't like it. I saw it for myself. I don't like it. I don't like it. I never wanted to take part in that. Never wanted to, nope, nope, nope. And he here's the worst thing, all right? It's the ones who are, who claim they're holy and they take part in this stuff. God, rather you say you're not holy. God, rather you say that you don't believe, like that you're you're not you're not someone who is like holy or goes to church or is in the Word of God. God respects those people more who think they're doing good, even though they have rejected Christ or haven't been awakened to Christ yet. Instead of someone who claims they are holy and they are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Oh, you're in trouble. All right. <sighs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, please restore just peace, harmony, blessing. Lord, protect your children as, as you will, as you do. Lord, send Archangel Michael, send every Archangel and give every guardian angel the power to cast down any, 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 any attack in the spirit that is intended to manifest for famine, for disease, for, for pestilence, for war. Lord, make it fall back on the enemy 10,000 fold. Lord, take their life. Lord, if they repent not as they see this in your holy and mighty name. Amen. All right. Have no pity. I will not spare. Okay. That's what the Lord says. Thank you. Wow. All right. Now for the righteous. All right. Don't think like, okay, for the righteous, there's someone who's about to sin. I gave this word on TikTok live as I got kicked out because I had that same question. Like, God, if everyone's praising evil right now, should I do evil? Like, just to get good out of it? Like, Lord, is, is, are you telling me to adapt? You know, like, Lord, come on. He said, no, you are holy and righteous for a reason. It's going to come with persecution. It's going to come with people looking at you like, ah, oh, you're lame. Ah. Oh. We, we can't believe that you're, you won't take part in this. Um, uh, why do you always have to make things harder? Like, I'm not making things harder. Like, I'm standing up for myself. Like, at the cost of what? Losing me? No, thank you. <sighs> so. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is Mark 35. Why, while he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house. Some who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But ignoring what they said, 
Jesus said to the rulers of the synagogue, do not fear, only believe. Okay. Because I, I, I said the word synagogue. Oh. <laughs> do not fear, only believe. And again, the word synagogue. I will take those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not, right? And I will let them know that I have loved you. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue. Remember that there will come a day where they will kick you out of the synagogues. And many who heard him were astonished, saying, where did this man get all this? What is the, the wisdom? What is the wisdom given to him? What mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary and the brother of James? Like, and Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could not do no mighty works there, except that he laid his hands upon a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. Be careful being around people who don't believe in you. It'll kill your dreams. Be careful being around people who think they know you so well as they tear down everything God wants you to build. And these are people who they're from your hometown Here, here's the thing people in my hometown never wanted to hang out with me fuck y'all y'all never supported me in anything like i don't owe anyone anything out there amen do, do i and here's the thing do i miss a lot of those people yes dearly dearly all right for the righteous lord just let me get to it philippians 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 it's not bookmark because there's someone who's about to sin you're about to do something and if you fall into the stumbling block and i don't i don't save you I'm going to have a problem, like God's going to have a problem with me and I don't want that. I don't want that type of smoke with God. So, the coming of the Lord. Yes, he's coming. I know he already came for me, but he's coming. Amen. Philippians. The word was be content. <sighs> Hold on. I have to look for it. Be content. Be content, be content. I don't, there's someone who's like not pleased. <sighs> okay, hold on. Lord, please send the Holy Spirit. 
I don't want to be here up all day. I don't want to keep people waiting either. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. Okay, I found, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Wow. All right. Philippians 4, 10. I rejoice in the Lord greatly now that I length you have received your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I complain of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased. I know how to I know how to abound in any and all circumstances. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and want. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. And you Philippians yourselves know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. For even in Thessalonia, you sent me help once and again not that i seek the gift but i seek the fruit which increases to your credit i have received full payment and more i am filled having received from ephroprogias the gifts you sent me a fragrant offering a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to god and my god will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in christ jesus amen to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. I need you to be content in all circumstances. In any circum in, in any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and want. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. I don't know what that's for. I just know that it came to pass. But God will make a way out of no way. I don't I don't know what you're lacking specifically is specifically I don't want your gift. Like I don't want what you got. Like if you gifted to me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I pray that God credits it to you a thousandfold. Because no church entered into partnership with me. I, I can I can attest to that. God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He will do it. Amen. I don't I don't know who this is for, but Specifically, someone who's righteous is about to do something that you shouldn't do. And it's hard because the evil, right? Evil will come and oppress you. Um, Satan has his little minions and they'll do things to put stumbling blocks in your way. Make things harder on you, stress you out, right? Stop your money flow, uh... The workers of evil, they'll even do black magic, which we rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. And like, God saw that. God saw that. And I don't know if someone's wondering, like, I tithed and I got nothing. I tithed and I got nothing. Sometimes I felt like that. Um, Not anymore, now that I know, like, what the word does. Like, now that I know what prayer does. Like, now that I can hear from God. But... The most important thing here is I'm content. Like, I don't. I'm thankful for your sacrifice. Me, don't mistake it. Okay, don't mistake it. Brethren, don't mistake it. Forgetting what lies behind, straining forward to what lies ahead. Okay, someone's focusing too much on like, I've done this, 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 this. 
how come I'm not producing? How come I'm not getting this? How come it's like, it's not where you're at. It's I'm sorry. It's not where you've been. It's, it's where you're at. It's not where you've been. It's where you're going to be. So there's someone who's like anxious. Okay. I'm just, the, the words are standing out. Holy spirit lead the way. Amen. You know, it says humble, human form, he humbled himself, even unto death, so that God can pour into you, so that God can show out for you, so that, like, you have to understand that a lot of pieces of Joanne had to die to be, like, content with, like, who I am today, and, like, the price I paid in my suffering, God made me beautiful, like, I don't even recognize myself sometimes, <sighs> but, like, that's all God. And then sometimes you see like certain chosen ones like living it up and you're like, how come, how come, how come? Do you understand that I, I toiled and lost? Like I had a, a Job season that seemed like, not a season, but I had Job years. Like it was brutal. I don't know who, who has this sense of uh, labored. Yeah, there we go. And I ask you also, true yoke fellow, Help these women, for they have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. <laughs> Do you understand my forbearance? Do you understand what I had to go through? The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. At the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Like, you might not get it now, but you'll get it soon. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let, do what you can, and then let God do what he can do do it you know i always said this you got to meet god halfway at least meet god halfway and if god is willing to do more then great but at least meet god halfway i would say this in all my projects and everything that i've done amen my interest <laughs> in all of my interest emptied himself amen emptied himself i gave a hundred and fifty million percent of me to like, Lord, I don't, I don't know what else to do. Lord, I've exhausted all resources. I don't even know what to do. I'm done. There is nothing more. Like, have you truly given it that much of an effort so that God can finally step in? And sometimes we're so focused on like, I, I earned this. I earned that. I, 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 I flipped this. I, I, you know, like. <sighs> imitating me there's someone Im trying to imitate me you're gonna fail and you're gonna be exhausted if you're imitating someone's work yeah fellow worker god sees like you're toiling but you, everyone has a destiny and a purpose and a calling that is strictly your own and like god does not withhold like Seek God and God will tell you what that is so that you're not about to do something sinful. Here's a breadcrumb for you. Amen. How did Joanne learn what, what she wanted to do? I had to take a test, like an aptitude test to see like what I was good at, what I could, um, what I could tolerate as a job. And all of all of my answers were like surgeon, doctor, like all of my high ones that say like you would you you would be great at this. Surgeon, doctor, um, ophthalmologist, um, agent, um, like like high high level jobs, right? With like high risk, high reward. Like I could handle that kind of stress because I have the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. But someone who was never intended, right, trying to follow me and imitate me, you're going to work yourself to death. Indeed, he was ill, near to death. Like, you're going to kill yourself trying to be me. 
or trying to be another chosen one. I, you know, I need to say, I gotta, like, I'm getting this vision. And I used to date this eye candy. And I, I thought, like, I don't watch TV or, you know, like, I don't keep up with certain things. The likeness of men. Yes, this is a man. And this man, once I realized, like, once I looked into him a little bit, I was like, wait. Your whole style, you just replicated all of that based off this one person. Really? Really? And it made me wonder, like, dang, that 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 car payment, we'll say car, right? Dang, that car payment is, like, what? Maybe anywhere from 800 to, like, a 1,000-something bucks, and, like, could you afford it? All because they're trying to be, like, someone else, right? Yeah. <laughs> be you. Um understand your likes and dislikes and like that means disconnecting i don't know who that's for but like you have to disconnect to be you you have to disconnect i don't like ha i have received full payment and more i am filled and having received amen the gifts you sent thank you uh -uh. you know sometimes i wonder if like when I sow and I'm like, God, I need people to pray for me. Did they ever pray for me? Or did they just look at the money and just run? No, I pray. I pray in the shower. I pray when I get a, a chance. I, I pray in secret, right? I don't need y'all to listen to that. I just need God to listen to it. And it's it's so crazy. Do all things without grumbling or questioning. That you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among you. Shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be, pr I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I am proud to be as a libation upon sacrificial offering of your faith. I am glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you should also be glad and rejoice with me. Amen. It's like someone's anxious for their welfare. Someone's anxious and like you're about to do something that like, like maybe if I take up this person's persona, like no, no, God wants you to be you. God wants you to, to be in his word. God wants you to practice, the, be skilled in the gift that he taught you. How do you find your gift? I just gave you one option. Amen. Some Someone in the commonwealth. Okay, is that why, like someone back home, I told you, take an aptitude test, some are free online, some are like 50 bucks, and you're going to sit down for an hour, and you're going to you really think about it, would this make me happy, and it's going to change, I mean, it's now 10 years later, and like, it's definitely changed, I should definitely take another one, your interest, but also the interest of others, right, like, but his own interest, his own interest, but also the interest of others, have this mind among yourselves, which you have in Christ Jesus, who through, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Yeah, stop like idolizing yourself. That's what I'm saying. The guy I had, he was idolizing this person to be, right? But emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death unto the cross like obviously we're not going straight to the cross hallelujah like jesus already did that but what i'm telling you my beloved just as god wants me to say what i'm telling you my beloved is that you have always obeyed and like you think i'm not there for you but i'm there for you search your own interest don't search anyone else's humble yourself um don't do it with grumbling. Don't do it with question. Be blameless in my eyes. Amen. Who cares what they're going to say? Who cares how they're going to talk? Who cares? Like, there are certain things that don't bring you pleasure anymore. I understand that, says the Lord. Amen. I don't know who this is for. I don't... I don't... You're about to do something which might even be idol worship. And, like, God doesn't want you to do that. 
you can you can buy that product you can buy that person's clothing line you could buy that person but you will never be them you will never be them you might i so it's like labels amen remember that those labels are gonna attract the wrong type of people are labels nice like branding things are they nice sometimes yeah some of those things are quality amen thank you lord some of those things are quality don't mistake in the label for quality sometimes you can find quality in other things that you never thought um sometimes someone's definition of true quality isn't your standard of quality like my standard of quality is different right like for me it would be more so like a cashmere sweater um with like i don't know sometimes i can't say it out loud because I, I i feel like i'm giving away a gift or something something more prestige but that was from experience because i had someone that introduced me to it and i liked it like what is this oh my gosh oh you've never heard of this no right like you have to learn to be your own person amen and sometimes I'm like, I don't like that. Really? They're so expensive. How do, how could you not like it? We all like it. I don't like it. You're telling me it's like, wait, how much? I'm so like, I don't mean to offend you, but like, it's not in my taste. It's not in my comfort. And you're going to see how you're going to be exalted. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Like that part of you is dying. We're like, oh, we all like this. Joani doesn't like lip gloss. Lip gloss is very in. I like a very matte finish. It works great for... Thank you. Working you. It works great for me. <laughs> I don't know who this is for. This is wild. God loves you so much. If he sent me, he stopped every, every single thing I was doing. Every single thing I was doing to send me up here. To give this message. Because you're about to lose yourself. You're about to... <laughs> It's like stolen identity. I need to say that. Like you're about to steal someone else's identity thinking you're about to get a come up. And like the true glow up is because you're about to be exalted in you. But you have to find your own interest. It's going to take some work. You think finding finding my own interest wasn't just handed to me. No, it was like, okay, well, I, I this does not suit my lifestyle. <laughs> this is not good for me. You know, like you're going to learn. I don't know who that's for. Take an aptitude test, all right? And um, it doesn't mean stop, so, stop um, tithing, stop sowing. I'm, I'm grateful for your for your gifts. I'm grateful for what you've sacrificed unto me. And I know that there's people praying for me. I know there's people saying, Juani, keep going. Thank you for, for posting. Thank you for your, I guess, content. But it's just the word of God, right? Um, thank you for your obedience. I know. Thank you. Like, I thank God that I'm alive. Like, and that's a sto that's not a story I, I care to tell right now. But like, I'm thankful enough for that, and like, I'm content. Like, sometimes I I am content knowing like, dang, that was supposed to be my outcome, but God saved me. Dang, the enemy came up that hard against me, but like, I told the truth. Like, no. I don't know, like, y'all make y'all mix this up. <laughs> I have so many things to be thankful to God for. And, like, being my own person, like, now that I look at it, like, I'm very thankful of that. Amen. Down to the sass. <laughs> and the attitude. <laughs> and that tomboyish, like, what? What's up? Which I don't want to be part of anymore. You know, like, I just want to be in my my glorious feminine beauty energy. And, like, I got to throw away the rags myself. Like, God has been warning me time and time again. Do I have nicer clothes? Yes. Do I choose not to wear it? Yes. Like, that's also my problem. Why? Because this right here, this is, this is workflow. Like, when I'm wearing this, Johnny's in workflow mode. Like... I, I don't know, something about just putting on some jeans, this, and, like, some shoes. Like, I'm in workflow mode. Like, we don't have time to play. 
but if I dress too pretty or too, you know, like it feels like, all right, well, I'm, I'm showing up to a meeting or I'm doing something else. Be you. Know that God sent me up here to give you that message. And whoever, whoever cast it, whatever abomination, you've been warned. You've been warned. The Lord said you have seven days to repent or you going, ooh, ooh, you're going to tear that ass up. Not in a good way either. Like you're about to die. <laughs> Not that that's a good thing, but like I did my part and I told you, like whatever demonic altar that you built, you got seven days to repent or the Lord's going to fuck you up. You're going to die. All right, play it back. That was all in Ezekiel. And then to the one who's about to be righteous, the one who is righteous and who's about to sin, be content, be content, be content, be content in any season. How? God, thank you for the roof over my head. God, thank you for your servants. God, thank you for those who tithe when I had nothing. Lord, give it to them a thousandfold. Credit them time and time again. Like, to me, that's not even enough. Like, Lord, there's prayers. There's things that they want to be satisfied. Lord, they, they need new homes. They need new cars. They need better relationships. Lord, God, I don't even know, like, how, how let the word come and pass to them. Let them know that, like, you saw them. Like, Lord, give them something. Because it feels like I wasn't able to give them anything. But I am giving you something. You got to understand that I come through many attacks. And I go through a lot. Every time I step up here. Every time I give the word. Like literally. I got in trouble. Like I don't want to say I got in trouble. But I got condemned. Through a threatening letter in court. For preaching the gospel. Like too many times. So understand the risk that I take for being up here. Like, I risk my life every day for you guys, for God. And essentially, he keeps me, but like, it's scary. I love you. Play it back. All right.